Well, you know my next guest as the real estate mogul from Bravo's hit TV series, Million Dollar Listing. And if you're interested in getting tips and tricks from the marketing and real estate expert, as well as trade secrets, you can do just that on his new digital coaching platform called Sell It. I had a chance to sit down with Ryan and his co-founder, Kyle Scott, and started the conversation by asking what the new platform is all about. Take a look. So sellit.com's mission is to make sales training the greatest skill set of the next generation, um, because that's really what it is. You know, it all started from, you know, I wrote a book called Sell It Like Sirhant, and we turned it into a digital sales training platform called Sell It Like Sirhant. And over a couple years, it grew to over 25,000 enrollees in 128 countries with people with sales skills all across industries, not just real estate. And so Kyle and I got together and we looked around and said, why are they coming to us? What, what sales training platform? There must be something. There must be great options out there. And there just wasn't. You know, we say all the time our, our, our competition was sales training built in the 90s for... Yeah, I mean, DVD, people who made DVDs in the early 2000s built yeah. for the attention span of last century. And honestly, there's, there's not a skill set that creates more career lifetime value than sales. Whether you're one of the 15 million professional salespeople in the United States who goes to work every day to sell for eight hours a day, or you're one of the growing cohorts of, of freelancers and entrepreneurs, which will actually comprise 50% of the U.S. workforce by 2027. If you're in business for yourself, it is just a hobby unless you actually know how to sell. Ryan, as, as okay. part of this, do users get one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with you? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, the platform is near and dear to my heart. It's, it's something that we've been working on for a long, long time. You know, the sellit.com brand is new as of last week, but it really has grown out of the genesis of sell it, uh, sell it like Sirhan, which we've had for, for a long time. So there's a general membership, which is, you know, monthly subscribers, and there's community and courses and, and what we call, you know, sprints, which are for our, our kind of membership plus program. And then we have a pro program, which people can come in, and it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, business coaching, brand coaching, because you can know what to sell, but if no one knows about it, then you have to build that attention driver. And I am super involved while also selling real estate off to the side. <laughs> uh, Kyle, I want to get your take here as to why Ryan was the right fit for you to partner with on this platform. Oh. Yeah, you know, I was a news producer for basically 10 years at NBC News learning all about how to take complex information and distill it into a format that an audience can understand. Uh, at the end of my time at NBC, I launched something called NBC News Better, which was all about how to make our audience's lives better. And something that came across uh, my radar was Ryan Serhant, who was uh, not only charismatic and the star of this really hit TV show, uh, but also wrote a book that made sales easy and accessible to a wide variety of people. I think from, uh, and your TV show, from cabinet makers to, yeah. to wine makers, hot tub salesperson. Yeah. And I saw in that, uh, and I saw where, where sort of uh, the knowledge economy was going overall, and I realized, wait a minute, you have charismatic TV personality, you have really solid thought leadership, what if we took this and turn it into a course? This was 2018 at the time, and we hit it right at the right time, 2019, 2020, 2021, when online learning really started to take off. Ryan, I know you also have a new book called Brand It Like Sarah Hench. You've got a podcast, you've got Sell It as well. Mm -hmm. How important is a brand to selling what you need to sell? Uh, it is integral. It's, it's as important as, as anything because you have to cut through the noise, right? You have to create that attention. So Brand It Like Serhant, which is my third book, really focuses on one of the core brand strategies that we teach as part of sellit.com, which is 
a three-step process. We call it our, our brand strategy system, which is core identity, consistent content, and then shouting it from the mountaintop. And we teach people how to work with PR, how to get PR, how to create content across all platforms so that you can generate that attention for your business, whether you're selling real estate, you're selling software, you're selling Bloomberg terminals, you're selling surgical centers across India. We have people on our platform from all walks of life, and today, even though it can be overwhelming because there are so many platforms, so many different ways to create content and get that attention, it is actually achievable. And you have it in the palm of your hand with your phone. And so we walk people how to do that and brand it like Sirhant is our blueprint, all 315 pages of it. Uh, Kyle, what is the goal to grow and scale this over time? Yeah, as we expand outside of real estate now, our goal is to impact the 15, both the 15 million professional salespeople, but much larger than that, the half of the U.S. workforce that will be engaged in gig work by 2027. Today, today, 36% of the workforce has their own business of some kind. That is 60 million Americans. Worldwide, it is a billion people. As that, that pie only expands and expands, into 2027 and beyond, our most realized vision of this program and of this company is helping sales become recognized as the most valuable skill set for your career. We do have an opportunity to touch absolutely everyone who has a career and wants to grow themselves to the most realized form of what they can be. Uh, guys, before we have to let you go, Ryan, uh, last question to you. So, so much of your work obviously focuses on real estate. Uh, we cover the housing market a lot here on a streaming business yep. news network. What is your outlook for the housing space in 2024? I think we're going to see a lot more of the same nationally this year. Inventory remains low because interest rates remain higher than they have been over the last dozen years, which continues to create a locked-in effect for the 90% of Americans who have home loans under 5 percent. But the market is incredibly active. It's very busy. 2023 was the slowest housing market we've seen since the mid-90s, which just means that more and more people as 2024 grows are staying to themselves. You know what? Well, we have to move eventually. We have to figure it out. We'll marry the home and we'll date the rates. This is actually the busiest I've been in my entire real estate career since, since 2008. And I, you know, knock on wood, that it continues to go strong. We'll see what happens through the presidential election in November. Um, but there is there is an there is unsatiable demand for real estate, and there's not enough of it to go around. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining. That's Kyle Scott on the left hand side, Ryan Serhant on you. the right, uh, both co-founders of Sellers.